the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 is the most anticipated smartphone of 2020 without a doubt, and it delivers a much needed upgrade over the previous generation Galaxy Fold. First up, we get a bigger 22.5 by 18 7.6 inch foldable display, sporting a 27% reduction in bezel size. The inside panel also comes with up to a 120Hz adaptive refresh rate, alongside the rich colors of a dynamic AMOLED 2X panel, what we've grown accustomed to from Samsung flagships. Of course, this reduction in bezel size also means the 10 megapixel camera on the inside of the phone is housed inside an O dot infinity cutout, different from last year's much bigger side notch. But that crease on the front foldable panel is still very much visible. We also see big upgrades to the outer panel of the phone, sporting a 6.2 inch 25 by 9 infinity O display again with a 10 megapixel camera, but the screen is only an HD plus super AMOLED one, although that size increase from the original fold is definitely a welcome change. There's a remarkable sturdiness to this year's Fold 2, something that felt a bit lacking with the original Fold, especially when opening and closing the device. The hinge is Samsung's third generation and overall you're looking at a 13.8mm thickness when closed, 6mm when opened, and a 282g weight, which is fairly manageable for a phone like this. Adding to the new hinge, there's sweeper technology built inside to keep dust away, and the phone can stand on its own anywhere between 75 to 115 degrees thanks to its cam mechanism, almost like a laptop, which we think will change how you'll use the device a lot. For us, multitasking on a big device is very much crucial, and app continuity and the overall software experience seems to be well baked here, at least from the hour or so we've had with the device. Applications automatically adjust depending on the phone's orientation, whether that's the calendar or the camera. We think the bigger display with that higher refresh rate also makes a crucial difference when multitasking and everything just feels natural. A neat addition here is that you can run multiple applications simultaneously with enough screen real estate for each one, and when you take a screenshot, you can tell the phone which application screen you actually want to take. Of course, we're looking at a full flagship experience from the overall perspective when it comes to multimedia, so things like stereo speakers are present, making a difference over the original Fold, but there's no 3.5mm headphone jack just like last year, and sadly no form of IP certification as of yet either. But we are glad that the power button now doubles as the fingerprint scanner capacitive on the right side of the phone, which was one of the recommendations we gave to Samsung last year. So it's nice that Samsung is listening. Now, the rear of the phone sports a triple 12 megapixel setup with dual pixel autofocus technology and things like Pro Video up to 4K 60fps, night mode, dual preview in order to see how a photo would look on a traditional phone, as well as Samsung single take all being present. A neat addition is also auto framing, which uses the phone's cameras to frame you, working automatically with both the rear camera as well as the front camera, so some pretty neat stuff. And powering this thing, we've got the cream of the crop. This is Samsung's only flagship smartphone in the UAE, running on Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset, coming with up to 12GB of RAM and 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage, and as we've mentioned, everything is smooth as butter. You also get eSIM capabilities alongside a nano SIM slot with 5G capabilities as well. As for the battery, we're looking at a 4500mAh one, actually it's split into two parts just like last year, but overall it's the same size as the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, supporting fast wired, wireless as well as reverse wireless charging. Not only do you get this phone in the mystic bronze you've seen throughout this video, but there's also a mystic black variant which is more of a glossy look, but I think that wraps up our quick look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. We will follow up on this coverage when we get our hands on the phone for a longer period of time, naturally testing its durability, performance, and battery life. Let us know if you'd like to see any particular videos down in the comments with this thing, and thanks for watching. This was Vabov, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.